So those of you who have been subscribed and following me for quite a while probably remember about a year ago, me and Father Time went out and got a bunch of tires. <laughs> um, and you saw help from my brother Fat Tony and brother Robert. Um, now I explained back then a lot of what I was going to do with these tires and what I am doing with these tires, but for all you new subscribers, which I know there's a lot, um, probably don't know what's going on with this. You probably haven't delved that far into some of my older videos yet. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a quick rundown of what's going on with all the tires. Um, so for the longest time, I have been wanting to build my own personal shooting range uh, and training course because although I live out in the middle of nowhere, um, we have houses on kind of all four points. So we got house over here, we got a house over here, and from the sounds of it, this property has uh, officially been sold. It was up for sale, I know, and I think that there are people back there building a house now. And of course, we got our neighbors over here, which is uh, Fat Tony and his family. So, um, although I have plenty of room to do any shooting I want, I do shooting regularly. Uh, the type of training and shooting I'm going to step deeper into to try and keep up with I kind of need at least three walls enclosed especially for higher caliber rounds um, I don't want any chance of any accidents or rounds going further than they need to um, although the closest road from here to that point is about three miles to the next county road um, I do a lot of my shooting that way you guys have seen a lot of my videos it's usually with uh, ARs and sidearms so it wasn't really anything to worry about, but uh, we're going to step into some deeper training, something I try to keep up with regularly, and I can't express that enough. I'm talking anything from guns to physical training and, of course, mind and body together. So um, we've already started this, and this is uh, kind of where we're working. This is where we're going to put the range over here. So you guys can see we've kind of got the base set up. To a degree and we're going to take it all the way down to about where that tallest tree is up there um, and then cut across and then back up and then obviously cut across the back side here where i'm going to probably double or triple the width of the tires eventually um, a dozer is eventually going to come in hopefully this year and take this dirt down and even it out so it's flat uh, this is going to give me full range and enough room to build structures for house and room clearing, um, IA drills, uh, we're even going to put up a little tower so that kind of gives us a little bit of long range shooting with a scope, um, and then some obstacle courses and stuff like that. So there will be hand to hand stuff and, and other things along that lines to help me continue to train and keep up with. Uh, my knowledge of it, but to also help train some of my friends and to allow my friends to come out here and shoot freely but safely. Um, there will, of course, be range rules for that later, but uh, until then, we're still in the building process. So all these tires are probably not even a quarter of what we need because we're going to bring it up and, um, like I said, it's going to have at least three walls on it and then the entrance in the back. So uh, this is gonna be quite a process. And as we found out yesterday when we started uh, laying down the foundation of the wall of tires, uh, we didn't sort them out like we should have. So now we're kind of having to sort through the smaller tires from the bigger tires, because we're putting all the bigger tires on the bottom. And then we're gonna stack the smaller tires on top. Uh, some of you are probably thinking, well, is the tire going to be enough? Probably not. So eventually what's going to happen when the dozer comes out, all these tires are going to be packed and filled with dirt from the top. Of course, back here, the highest point, going down to the lowest point of this part of the property, uh, probably going to be dug anywhere from five to eight feet down into the earth. Uh, so that'll give us a pretty good channel for um, height and uh, you know, obviously protection. So rounds don't really go through dirt that well, especially when you're way down and you have plenty of rock in the soil. But anyway, guys, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some of these sorted out and continue stacking. So I'll record some of this and you guys can kind of start seeing the building of the range finally. So uh, 
enjoy. You know, guys, I'll tell you what, if you ever really want to get in shape, start swinging some tires around, and uh, you'll hit um, hit some muscles you probably didn't even think you had. Me being in a, as good a shape as I am, and working out quite frequently, anytime I do this, I'll tell you what, there'll be areas where twisting and turning and throwing tires and moving tires that the next morning you'll feel it in areas that you know you're not really hitting when you're working out so it's just an idea all right guys so basically what i'm doing right now i'm going to sort out uh, the bigger tires from the smaller tires uh, like i said a little bit ago all the bigger tires kind of need to go on the bottom and they're all kind of intertwined right now so sort out as many of the bigger tires as I can and the old man's gonna load them up in the truck and we're gonna bring them back around because you guys probably didn't notice a minute ago but um, we've left the bob wire fence up over here for a pretty good reason really it's gonna kind of help guide the tires in a straight line all the way down but also kind of hold them in place um, and there's just no real point in taking that fence down since those tires are gonna be there anyway so they'll kind of hold them intertwined uh, at least until we get them high enough um, that part of the, the back of the property here, we're going to have to cut through and clear a lot of these trees and underbrush out, but, uh, not in any real big hurry to do that right now, because it's going to take a while just to get this one wall up. Uh, I don't even think these tires are complete one wall, so <laughs> you'll see a hell of a lot more videos this year in the summer, I'm sure, of us getting even more tires. <laughs> Okay guys, so fail plan number one, um, we'll not be loading up the tires into the truck and taking them around because old man can't really get the truck in there right now. So uh, looks like I'm going back to slinging tires over and through the fence for now, but uh, maybe short lived, we're looking at possible rain, they've already felt some sprinkles so it may start pissing on us here pretty soon. Okay guys, so a little bit of information for you. You know, if you've ever wanted to build a range or want to build a range, I'll tell you what, tires is one of the best ways to build a range. If you have the property and you live in an area where it's plausible, I suggest just using tires. And to be honest with you, it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, reason being is it's, it's gonna be cheaper in the sense that Yes, you're going to have your own time in it. Yes, you're going to have your own, a little bit of your own money in it going and getting tires. But most tire shops and places that do tire changes or whatever, they will beg you to take their tires. They'll thank you for taking their tires. The reason being is a lot of these places have to pay a pretty hefty fee to have a company 
out of state a lot of times come and dispose of the tires for them and I think it's like two to four dollars a tire or more um, and then a lot of times they have to stack and load them themselves or they're only allowed to dispose of so many tires a month and a lot of times what it is they can't just throw them in a dumpster they have to go out with a razor blade and cut the sidewalls out of them so that's why a lot of times tire companies, tire shops will charge you uh, to take your old tire off your hands for you um, because they have to basically do a lot of work and pay themselves to get rid of them so um, tires are a wonderful thing you know they stop rounds pretty easily I've seen a lot of shooting ranges and of course training courses for the military are made out of old used tires um, endless endless possibilities that you can do with them and if you don't want a really big range but you just want a good place to shoot to make sure that uh, your rounds aren't really going somewhere they shouldn't be going you can build a back wall and then kind of two three quarter walls coming down um, you know stepping them down slightly so they come out far enough that you've got what I would consider almost a three-point uh, section um, and that's one way to consider doing it but uh, you know it's just a suggestion for anybody out there who's really wanting to build a shooting course or maybe they live a little too close to somebody or something or hell if you just want to build a bunker there you go tires man there's a lot of things you can use tires for uh, especially if you want to make things little clubhouses the one thing to note though guys snakes and freaking rats really love old tires uh we're we're moving all this about the right time of year none of the snakes have come out the last year uh before the end of summer we started moving some of the tires around and believe you me you found a lot of snake skins hell we found uh, uh copperhead a couple rattlers stuff like that so that's the downside to use the tires for stuff like this but uh you kind of do it the way i'm doing it stacking them and weaving them if there's any snakes anywhere around them you're probably going to be sit seeing them sit sitting up in between the little crease of the two tires where they connect so you know that's not a big deal and rats i'm not going to have to really worry too much about because like i said the tires are getting filled later with dirt so uh, that'll kind of take care of a lot of things right there and it's a possibility later on i'll put some blocks in those creases too so it kind of helps eliminate that but uh other than that guys so we're only to here all the way up to there we got to go from here all the way down to about even with that stump right there um may not go all the way because i was talking about possibly putting a 20 foot connex right in that corner this way lengthwise uh, as a little staging area and um a base platform for uh the tower going up so uh we still got a little ways to go and I think we're kind of running out of um, larger tires for width anyway. And we're coming down on a slope, so, and it's raining. But um, we're probably going to have to start double stacking a little bit to kind of bring the height back. But I think when we had the dozer come in, we'll come out about two feet from the tires, maybe a foot and a half at, at the least. Uh, that way the erosion doesn't bring them down and all that. And may even have to put posts in the ground eventually to kind of hold them in place but uh yeah got a little l going on here a little dog leg i think that's about all we're gonna get until we get all this finished and all that cleared out up there so probably gonna cut out here pretty quick if it starts raining any heavier all right guys so we're gonna call it good looks like it's uh gonna keep raining for the rest of the day uh we'll see what the weather's doing here in the next day or two i might get back to it um got quite a bit more done about halfway to where they need to be on the side so I'm gonna probably have to make another run here in the near future to get bigger tires to continue the base of it but uh, that's kind of a little bit of a rundown for you guys I figured I would um, show you a little bit of what's going on the process and the, the hard labor <laughs> that's involved in building the thing <laughs> um, it's probably going to take a better part of what a year before this thing's finished so i'll definitely have more videos along the way and progress that gets made with it so for all of you new subscribers out there that kind of gives you an idea of one of the things i've been working on and 
for any of you who aren't subscribed and watching, if this is something that interests you or uh, you'd like to follow along, go right on over in here somewhere and hit that subscribe button. And, uh, well, stay tuned because we'll have a lot more stuff like this coming up here in the very near future. Anyway, guys, as always, stay frosty, ride or die, Reaper out.